Hi guys, welcome to this video. I am Kasturi Sanam, your quantitative ability tutor. I have completed my MBA from Xavier Institute of Management, Bhuvaneshwar, and I have given CAT, ZAT, and many other MBA entrance exams, and I have always scored 98 percentile plus in all of them. So, guys, let's begin this video. This video, today's topic is time and work, and it is examiner's favorite topic. Be it any MBA entrance exam or be it any competitive exam, time and work questions are bound to come. And why is this an examiner's favorite topic? Because there are a variety of questions that can be covered in time and work. Most videos or most coaching institutes teach shortcut regarding time and work problems and they end up confusing students because students fail to understand concepts. So in this video, I am going to take time and work questions and I am going to solve them for you. I will be explaining you the concept as well as shortcuts and tricks that can be used to solve these questions very quickly. So let's get started with today's video. Now why do we have time and work related problems? That is because if at all you have few laborers, every laborer is going to take different amount of time in order to complete a particular task. Every person is different. Every person has his own skills and has his own efficiency and he is going to complete that particular task in his own time. So now for example, in this slide you can see that I have four people here. There are these four laborers and I have given them a task. So each one of them will have different time to complete that particular task. Like for example, you can see this blue shirt person who is a bit of old person, who is a bit older person. So he probably might take longer time than all these three when it comes to strength related work. Also, you can see this yellow colored, sh yellow colored shirt person he looks a bit weaker than the other people, so he might take longer time when you are dealing with tasks that require strength. Similarly, if at all you are dealing with tasks that requires a particular skill, then maybe the person who is most skilled is going to do the fastest job in all these four people. And the person who is slow, who is less efficient, is going to take a lot of time. So, every person is different, every person works in his own pace and that is what creates time and work problems. Now, as I have said, there are variety of problems, variety of time and work problems and we are going to cover one by one. So, the most simple kind of a problem is addition of individual work. So, this bucket consists of problems which are very simple and which are very straightforward. In these kind of problems, you will be given two or more individual, let's call them A and B. These are laborers and you will be given what is the time that A takes in order to complete a particular task and B takes in order to complete a particular task all by himself. And you will be told to find out the time taken by both of them if they work together. So obviously the time taken by both of them to complete a task if both of them are working together will be less than the individual time because more laborers you are going to have in order to do a particular task less is the time taken. So always when two or more people are working together the time taken is going to be less than the individual time. So these kind of problem they just deal with simple LCM and solving a particular question. Let's see what are the concepts that are required in order to solve these kind of problems. Now we have four individuals, Salman, Amir, Katrina and Deepika. These are four famous actors I have taken. So Salman takes five days in order to paint a particular house. Amir takes three days, Katrina takes two days and Deepika takes four days. So like you can see here, Katrina, she is the fastest among all these four people and Salman, he is the slowest here. So these four people are taking different time in order to paint a same house. Now let's see what are the concepts. If at all, A can complete a work in N days. Then we have to find out what is the work done by A in one day. So if at all we want to find out the work done by A in one day, that is always the reciprocal of N. 
if he takes n days if he takes 10 days to complete a particular work then in one day he is going to complete one tenth of the work similarly if at all you're given what is the what is the work completed in one single day if at all he completes one twentieth of work in one single day then he is going to take 20 days to complete the whole work so this is simple right now let's use it in our previous problem so we had Salman who was taking five days to complete a work so he, in one day he is going to paint one fifth of the total house that is 20 percent of the total house Amir was taking three days to completely paint that particular house so he is going to take he is going to do one third of the total work in one single day that is 33 percent of the house he is going to paint in one single day then Katrina was taking two days she was the fastest she is going to take she is going to complete half painting of the house in one particular day so she is going to do 50 percent of a job in one single day then we had Deepika who was taking four days so in one day she is going to do one fourth of the job which is 25 percent of the job so i hope this concept is clear to all of you now let us solve problems related to this concept like i said you will be given two or more laborers you will be given what is the time taken to do a particular job all by themselves then you will be asked to find out the time that is required if both of them are working together so this is the simplest variation of the problem that can be asked here it says that A takes 10 days to do a job and B takes, I'm just writing it down, A is taking 10 days and B takes 15 days to do a particular job. So what is the time taken for if both of them are working together? So what is the time if A and B are working together? Now, obviously, like I said, if both of them are working together, then it is going to take much less than 15 days or much less than 10 days. So, obviously, the time taken is going to be less than 10 days. So, let's see how to solve these kind of problems. First, we have to calculate what is the work done in one day by both the individuals. So, whenever you see these kind of problems, the first step that you are going to do is you have to find out what is the quantity of work done by them in one single day. So let's find out what is the work done by A in one day. A is taking 10 days. So in one day, he is going to do one tenth of work. Similarly, B is taking 15 days. So in one day, he is going to do one fifteenth of the work. Now, we have to find out what is the work done by A and B together in one single day. So what we do is we just add these two numbers 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15 and then you solve it. Now I'll tell you one mental math that you can do here in order to solve these problems quickly. First of all you just take the reciprocal of the number of days that are given and then you find out the LCM. Now in this case the LCM comes out to be 30. So the LCM here is 30. Now assume that there are 30 houses that need to be painted. So in one day A is going to paint one tenth of the 30 houses which is 3 houses. And B is going to paint one fifteenth of the total houses which is 2 houses. So this is the number of houses that they are going to paint in one single day. So together A and B are going to paint 5 houses in one day. So this is together they are painting 5 houses in one single day. But how many houses do we have? Total we have 30 houses. So, so 30 divided by 5 is 6. Hence the answer is 6 days. A and B together will take 6 days in order to complete a particular task. In order to complete the task together. Now if at all you want to solve it by conventional method. Then you just have to add these two. 1 by 15 upon 1 by 10 is the amount of work that A and B together are doing in one single day. And the LCM comes out to be 30. So 2 plus 3 that is 
5 upon 30 which is 1 by 6. Now together A and B are doing 1 6 of the total work. So they are going to take 6 days in order to do the work together. So I have solved it by the conventional way as well as I have taught you a trick by which you can do the mental maths and you can calculate the answer. If at all you are a beginner or if you are not very good with maths, arithmetic, then I would suggest you find out the LCM and you do the paperwork. But if you have practiced a lot and you want to solve this question really fast, this is an easy question for you, then you can go by the mental math method that I have taught you. Now let us see another variation of this problem. Here it is given that A and B together are taking 8 days to complete a particular work. So A plus B, we are given that together they are taking 8 days. Now A can complete the work all by himself in 12 days. So we know that A is taking 12 days to complete the work and we have to find out what is the time taken by B alone. Now let us assume that in one day B completes 1 upon B of the total work. The amount of work that A is doing in one day is given which is 1 upon 12. Now the amount of work that A and B together are doing in one day is also given and it is 1 upon 8 since they both are completing the job in 8 days. So in one day they will be doing 1 8 of the job. Now, if at all we solve this, if we add the reciprocal of the 2, then we get 1 upon 12 upon 1 upon B equal to 1 by 8. Because both of them together are taking 8 days and we already know what is the time taken by A in order to do the job all by himself. Now, when you solve this, you get, to, you get the answer B. But now, let us... Uh, solve it by the mental math method that I taught you. The LCM here is 24. So let us assume that there are 24 houses that need painting. Now A in one day is doing 1 12 of 24 houses. So which means that A in one day is painting 2 houses. And B we don't know how much time, how much time he is going to take. And together in one day, both of them are doing 1 8 of the total work. So, 1 8 of 24 is 3. So, they are in one day, they are painting 3 houses. We already know that A is painting 2 houses. So, we calculate the value of B, which comes out to be 1. B in a single day, he is painting 1 house. Now there are total 24 houses, so B is going to take 24 days in order to complete the, com complete the job, in order to paint all the houses. So here the right answer is 24. But if at all you are a beginner and you want to solve it by the conventional method, then in order to arrive at the answer, you can have 1 by 8 minus 1 by 12 equal to 1 upon B. The LCM is 24, so 3 minus 2 upon 24 equal to 1 upon b. Then 1 upon b equal to 1 upon 24. So b is 24. I have solved this question also in both the ways. If you are a beginner, please use paper, pencil and solve it by the conventional way. As and when you practice, you get the knack of it and you can do the mental math that I taught you wherein you assume that the LCM is the number of houses that require painting. Now let's see another variation of this kind of a question. A can do a work in 7 days by working 9 hours in a day. And B can do the same work in 6 days by working 7 hours in a day. Now guys if at all you see here, A and B are taking different days in order to do a same work. But they are also working for different hours, different time in one particular day. So what we do is, here we convert the time into number of hours. So the total time taken by A is 7 into 6 hours, 7 into 9 hours, sorry. And the total time taken by B is 6 into 7 hours. 
Now, instead of day, we have to find out what is the amount of work that A is doing in one single hour. So, A in one hour, he can do 1 upon 6 into, sorry, 9 into 7. And B in a single hour, he is able to do 1 into 1 upon 6 into 7. So, this comes out to be 1 upon 63 and this comes out to be 1 upon 42. So, this is the amount of work that both of them are doing individually in one single hour. Now, if you add them and see what is the amount of work that A and B together are doing in one particular hour, then you get 1 by 63 plus 1 upon 42. So, now if you solve it, you get 1 upon 7 into 3. So, this is the amount of work that both of them are doing in one particular hour. Now, if you take the reciprocal, you get the number of hours that are required in order to do a particular work. So, these are the number of hours that A and B together will take in order to do a particular job. But it is said that in one day, it is given that in one day, there are 42 upon 5 hours. So, all we do is we divide this by 42 by 5 and we arrive at the answer. So, this goes off and the answer comes out to be 3 days. I have just used simple arithmetic here. You can do the mental math as well. But since this question dealt with big numbers, I would suggest you to use paper and pencil so that you don't do any mistake. So this is all the variation that can be asked in addition of individual work kind of problems wherein you would be given what is the time taken by two or more laborers to do a particular job. All you have to do is you have to find the reciprocal and you have to find the amount of work that each one of them is doing in one particular unit of time. And then you have to add those reciprocal. You have to take an LCM and you have to add it. And then you have to again take the reciprocal in order to arrive at the number of days that are required if both of them are doing the job together. So that is it for now. We will be solving many more problems and we will be looking at various kind of problems that are asked in time and work in the later videos. Thank you.